the Simba mattress. Not just any Simba mattress, it's the Simba Pro mattress. This is a big day for me. I got this mattress for free. I have been emailing Simba probably longer than any other company trying to get myself a free mattress. And they finally said, do you know what? We'll let you have a free mattress. Full disclosure, I did sign a gift agreement, but implicit in that agreement was they have no input into my video. I am free to save whenever I want. I have full control over my videos. It is my own honest opinion as always. That will never change. So this is a hybrid, as is the original Simba. I did review the original Simba. I paid for the original Simba. The Simba, I'm calling it the original, the Simba hybrid. They call this Simba hybrid pro. They have changed what was one of the original headline features, Simbatex. When I reviewed my original Simba mattress, that was synthetic latex. Some people call it pretend latex. It isn't, it is latex. It's just a synthetic version of latex, which of course, when it's, it's a natural version, it comes from a rubber tree. They now use their own version of polyurethane foam. As I always say, they all mix them a little bit different, give them a name. Some of them are patented methods of pouring, some aren't. I believe Simbatex, this version of Simbatex is a painted method. And they do add graphite. They add graphite to their Simbatex, which is polyurethane foam. Graphite does add some good properties. Obviously it depends how much graphite you've actually added. Graphite being carbon, it can add extra resilience. It can and does should make a difference for cooling on paper. And I notice they do make a play of the fact that they add graphite. It's good for cooling. It does absorb more heat. If there's enough graphite in there on paper, it's a better polyurethane foam than other polyurethane foams when it comes to sleeping cool. That's, for many people on foam, an issue. One of the downsides of foam is that you can get heat issues, mostly with memory foam, but also polyurethane foam, also with latex, but we'll see. Gonna depends on your sensitivity. And synthetic latex also has a bit of a pong, quite a chemical type smell. So I don't know what to expect from this particular version of Simbatex. I'm hoping it's a big step forward. On paper, this is a good mattress for when it comes to cooling. It's also an interesting mattress. So this is the Simba Hybrid Pro. Why would it be interesting to you? First of all, this is their high end, as the Pro version uh, part of the name would suggest, this is their high end mattress. The other mattress being a cheaper version. It's not particularly cheap. Retail on their website today was 900 pounds, but of course that's for king size. They are always, all these companies <laughs> have forever uh, discounts, much like the, the car industry, you know, it would be a rare thing to pay retail price. Today on the website, they have 25% off. So not quite as expensive as it may sound. And you can of course pay many thousands of pounds. So it's high end compared to other online budget type mattresses. But you can pay a lot more, you can pay a lot less. So why would you pay that money for this Simba? So I don't know what to expect other than the headline features. So we talked about the Simba Tex. We know that it's got their painted micro pocket springs. So as I try, try and emphasize in all my videos when it comes to mattresses that have micro pocket springs. By the way, don't take your cover off. That's a warranty issue if you take the cover off of Simba, I believe. Not meant to come off, not washable. So don't take your, your cover off <laughs> if you see me doing it. A micro pocket springs, they are there for comfort. And in the case of Simba, they say they have up to two and a half thousand these micro conical pocket springs. They have to, up to two and a half thousand in a king size on the Simba normal original, but they're stacked on the Simba Pro, which means you're getting up to 5,000. Now, is it, it quite interesting to me what happens when you stack springs? If you was to stack uh, normal, regular springs, they're subject to what they call Hooke's Law uh, and stacking a, one spring upon the other simply makes one bigger spring. You could have just had one bigger spring. They have the spring constant. However, that's for a normal, pocket, that's for a normal spring. When it comes to conical uh, pocket springs, it's a bit different because they are not linear. Why? One of, the, part of, one of the benefits obviously of conical is it can completely collapse to the width of a sing, of the single wire gauge because each layer is, com is collapsing into the one below. But also because they're conical, 
the way they compress for the same force above is not li linear. So it no longer obeys Hooke's law. So I'm not quite sure what to expect when you stack conical uh, pocket springs. That's assuming they are laid exactly on top of each other. They may not be. So it will be interesting. However, we've got 5,000 in a king size as opposed to 2,500. I'm expecting that to probably add up to maybe a plusher feel. A bit more molding because uh, a bit more um, deflection. It will be interesting to see. But maybe even more interesting than that is on top is a layer of wool. So I'm used to getting a lot of these uh, foam mattresses and it's going to be memory foam on top or polyurethane foam or indeed natural latex uh, in the case of the Uno mattress I tried. Uh, you know, that is another high-end mattress. The cover incidentally was wool, but just the cover. Now we have a top layer of wool. So what would be different from uh, a foam top layer? Well, first, the big, one of the big properties of wool is it's temperature regulating. So not only can it help keep you cool uh, in, in the hot summer days, it can actually, it regulates, so you actually keep you warm in the winter, just like it would do when it's on the sheep. It keeps them both hot and cool. It can absorb up to 30% of its weight uh, in moisture and w once it gets to that saturated point it will start releasing it across the fibers and into the cooler parts hopefully of the mattress it's also naturally fire retardant naturally hyperallogenic uh, resists mold naturally inhibits dust mite it's, it's a premium product to have on your mattress but it feels very different uh, than foam I am going to unbox this I, I, I'm going on a bit but I, I just want to say why it's very interesting at least to me it's quite different uh, on paper to the mattresses I've been trying now for a few years to be absolutely honest and having wool on top wool has di has different properties to foam when it's on top you would regard it as being unlike a pillow when you have a, t a soft foam on top of a mattress it, it, they regard it as like a pillow top if you have wool on, on top of a mattress it is not regarded as pillow-like in that sense but it, it has other properties which you may or may not get on with it but it, it certainly is a nice thing to have on top if you get on with it certainly from the point of view having a foam mattress but sleeping cool because not only if you've got the Simbatex with graphite you've got the, the pocket springs albeit micro pocket springs which allow even more airflow so on paper this is going to be a mattress for people who've had issues sleeping cool it, it could also be a mattress for people who and not don't quite like the, the the high point elasticity of foam very molding on the specific points that you are pressing in now that's not for everybody not everybody likes to feel oh I mean buttocks have, have, have sunk in but now they're a lot deeper from the rest of the body now that's good when you have aches and pains it's not for everybody so the point elasticity of, of a wool layer is a little bit different so it's it's a little bit more even it may feel a bit more foam. I've got no idea what to expect I don't even know how big that layer is but I'm super excited to try it. The only thing I want to say is when it's on top it's normally wool batting uh, which is like a, a, a long piece of the fabric whereas it's when it's in the base layer uh, it's it's the loose fibers densely packed so a little bit different. I am going to get on get on now and unbox it and then by the time of my, my review there will be a lot to talk about it's really interesting to me on paper. The unboxing obviously both the pro and the the original must come in the same box because there's nothing on here to say pro other than uh, the label they've put in afterwards after packing saying it's the hybrid pro got a booklet on top it's always nice to get a welcome pack a little bit of effort it's in like a eco-friendly box it does actually say open me for better sleep recycle me to sleep better recycle me to sleep better I suppose you won't feel guilty as long as you've recycled it. Opening it up, it is sealed. It's like opening a little present. There's quite a, quite a bit here. Welcome to the cutting edge of sleep. That's another thing I've got to open. It's a bit like Christmas. Ah, the Simba blade. Not everyone gives you a blade. And actually, I think Simbas are the best blades that I get because they're curved. Uh, even ease, it's even harder. Uh, to rip your actual mattress, which is quite easy with some of the blades they give you because of that curve. So, got another Simba blade. And that's why they're saying, and welcome to the cutting edge, because they're giving you the cutting edge. Keep and reuse me. I make a great parcel opener. All right, so this is all about the safety blade. 
think inside the box. A little bit of humor going into this thing outside the box. Think inside the box, take your mattress to its new room. So they're saying, step one, take it to the room. Uh, we'll see, put it on the bed. Once, uh, when you're about to rip the plastic off, just because this is actually, you know, gonna be quite a heavy mattress. There is a, a, a lot in there and you don't want to be slapping it about when you don't need to. Spread the word, you could get 50 quid or 100 quid. So that's sort of a refer your family, refer your friends scheme. It does mention on here the 100 night trial. I should mention we're in the coronavirus era. And uh, a lot of these mattress companies, such as Simba, are doing a 200 night trial. So at the point of this video, 200 night trial. Two thirds of the year, nearly. Yeah, just under two thirds of the year, you could be sleeping on this before you even have to think, do I want to keep it? Your bedtime reading. Thanks for getting into bed with us. 40 years experience under the covers. Now I believe that refers to um, the family history of one of the co-founders. Obviously Simba have not been in business for 40 years. They were founded in 2015. So they are one of the, the older online companies. And this is a bit about the company. Your first hundred nights. So I'm, I'm, <laughs> this is quite a long pamphlet. I'm not going to read it all. I can't see anything that's really, uh, I have to know before I open it. This is a general guide. We're embarrassed to bring it up, but you might have noticed a slightly unusual smell in the first few nights. Fresh out of the box, foam can be like that. That is true, off-gassing uh, with a lot of products, uh, even, even your furniture. But it's not completely all natural, even the glues. But, you know, particularly mattresses that are partly synthetic, even natural latex can have a smell, although that's normally a pleasant, pleasant, pleasant kind of smell. Off-gassing they will it will leach so even when they say you can sleep on this mattress in a few hours put it in a well aired room uh, open the windows whatever leave it at least 48 72 hours before you sleep in it most of the off gassing should have happened in that point in that moment of time that's some of the smells that you're going to get would also should also point out this is certipure certified which means there's extra levels of checks on what chemicals they can use and what levels of chemicals can go into this mattress. But Certipure certif certification only applies to the polyurethane foam, not all the materials, but the, specifically the polyurethane foam they have used in this mattress. I'm going to unbox it, like I told you I would. I was going to tip it. It's actually quite heavy. Don't tip the box. <laughs> Pull it out, because you might do your back in. It says handles for rotation only. It should be two people to lift this mattress. I'm not sure what handles they're referring to. I suppose I mean the handles on the mattress. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm probably being a little bit stupid, but I'm not completely sure what's on the outside of the plastic. I think they mean when you've unwrapped the mattress, don't actually lift the mattress. Oh, the handles may come away, I think they're saying. Only use the mattress, only use the handles when you rotate the mattress. Of course, mega, mega, mega important with any new mattress. Rotate, 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 first 30 or more days. Integrated base, you can't flip them, but you must rotate them to get that wear even, especially as they've got wool on top, um, which will compress. Rotate, get that wear even. You won't have so many problems or any problems if you do the rotation, if you do the rotating a daily, so try and sleep on a little bit of a different area each day. Get the first 30, 60 days right, you'll have a much longer life out of the mattress. Bear in mind, full height, this is 28 centimetres. And what we're talking about, five centimetres, that's compressed down to. Simba Hybrid Pro. Can't believe I finally got one. I was never going to buy this myself. I'm limited on oh, funds, uh, unsurprisingly. Only certain match, certain budget level I could really go to. I did waste my money on the Casper because they went out of business the next week, basically. But here we are. Now, it is a non-removable cover. They said that on my original hybrid and they sealed the zip. So I'll have to wait till my uh, review to show you the inside, which is gonna be very interesting. So 
very unlike at this point, obviously it's still expanding, uh, the foam mattresses I've been getting used to. We are talking um, about 24 centimeters. It's got about four centimeters of height to go. Slightly thicker cover than I was expecting because they talk about it being ultra thin. It's nice, it's quite typical, I think. The covers in all we get. Looking for the label. So we've got some Simba branding here. I was just looking for a label that might tell me exactly what's in it. I've got my fire label on it for here. Ah, 99% polyester, as so often they do use, and 1% elastane. Elastane is nice. It's like it's the stretchy material. Nothing else of interest, obviously, it says. Oh, it actually says rotate mattress monthly. So actually, not just when you uh, first get it, maybe it's because it's that wall cover. It, wall, wall top layers, wall toppers do take a little bit more care than a normal memory foam, but you do get a lot of other things out of it, most noticeably, is ability to regulate, not just oh, sleep cool, oh, sleep hot. Keep you hot in the winter, cooler in the summer, as though you was a sheep. And I should say, it is British wool and UK steel that they are using for, for this mattress. Indeed, it says on the, on the website, manufactured in Leeds. They are based uh, in London, by the way. And all their manufacturing partners are UK based. I assume that means all the materials are from the UK or it's just a way of saying it. I don't know. And that some of the partners have got stuff from you. But basically they're saying, we're, we're in, we're in uh, London. We made this in Britain. It's a British mattress. Even the wool is uh, from a British sheep and the steel is British steel. So not much else I could say because I can't take, at this stage, uh, I've got to give it a chance uh, to fully expand and I've got, to give it a, I've got to give it a sleep on before I can start uh, doing anything with it and showing you uh, the layers below. I could tell you this is not, this is, is more like a sprung mattress. So anyone who's, who complains before about um, got micro pocket springs and they can completely collapse as I think I mentioned or was trying to mention I try to point out when they use the comfort layers completely different from when they use for support you want big springs for support right at the base you know deep down in the mattress 10 or more inches they are there to hold you up they're the ones you don't want to collapse completely that would be a little bit silly and pointless what you want in a comfort layer are springs that are going to give you a bit more spring. I can see straight away I'm getting more spring. They add resilience to the, to the layers above. If you can think of what it would be like, you know, adding a frame below the foam, it adds resilience to the foam above. I've given a lot of detail in this. There's not much more I can say. It is interesting for someone like me who's used to getting, oh, here's a foam mattress. Oh yeah, and here's a foam mattress. Obviously some are more interesting than others. Some are particularly high density. Some aren't, uh, some are great value for money, some aren't, but this is a bit different. Does it mean it's gonna be a, a great sleep or not? I don't know, I've got absolutely no idea, but I'm eager to try it out and I will, so, so I've given it, you know, two, three weeks of sleeping on. I'm gonna come back, give you my review, tell you who it suits, who it doesn't. And was I happy sleeping with it? Is it still interesting to me after I've had a couple of, of uh, nights on it? I hope so. So thank you for watching and I hope you got something out of my unboxing.